Hello, Floss Tube friends. It has been ages. Rex in here, of course, uh, would like his cheese it. Can you say hello? Yeah, that's close enough. Hello, guys. It has been ages. Um, the last <laughs> Floss Tube episode that I posted was actually November 1st. And it is now January of 2021, a whole brand new year. Um, I kept meaning to post more floss tubes. I just, I don't know, things just kept coming up. I would get busy. Um, my uh, husband and stepson would be home. And I, I tend to like to record these when it's just me and Ruxin. Because I don't have to be afraid of somebody coming home, like, you know, while we're going and Ruxin freaking out and all that good stuff. Um, but so, yeah. Uh, my stepson start, started hockey tonight, so I'm taking advantage of the weeknight. So yeah, today's, it's a Tuesday. Usually I try to do these on a weekend when I have more time, but I finally decided it has been much too long since the last one and I need to just go ahead and do it. Um, so yeah, I was trying, I had to actually pull up my last video because it had been so long that I couldn't even remember. <laughs> Oh, rugs in. I couldn't even remember what we had left off with, what we were doing, and I remembered that we were preparing for my uh, vendor booth, which went really well. Um, I think one of the one of the things that I had actually finished for the vendor booth was the Mandalorian project by Nikki Pattern, and that did sell. That was one that sold, so I was really excited about that. Um, I will put up a photo up here of what my vendor booth looked like. It was nice and small, spaced out, um, so it was a nice intimate event. It wasn't like huge, which I mean during COVID, what can you expect? Um, but it was a nice event to kick off, you know, well I guess not kick off the new year because it's now the new year. <laughs> Back then it was right mid-pandemic craziness um, and I was, you know, praying that I was going to be able to you know, do the event. Oh, Rexon, you're spinning me. <laughs> Silly dog. Um, yep, it ended up happening. Papa Teeps' golf outing ended up happening, um, which I did. I've, I've written things down because I know last time I did a really bad job of remembering what everything was. Um, so the charity event that we did the cross stitch for, uh, which I'll throw that up just as a reminder, the picture. Um, so the charity event, um, Oh, Ruxin, sure, she thinks I'm streaming, so he thinks he's getting more Cheez-Its. Um, it raised approximately $15,000 for the Aaron W. Perlman Center at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I think last time I said Andrew, which is definitely wrong. <laughs> so I made sure to actually, you know, be prepared this time, especially since it's been so, so long since the last floss tube that I'm like, I need... I need to do this and I need to do it right. Um, so yeah, the, so the, the booth went well. Um, Pop Teeps had a lot of fun at his golf outing. And gosh, yeah, that was over two months ago. <laughs> so it is now, yeah, the new year. Um, so since then, let me see. Oh, yeah, I know. So last time um, I had said I was going to be doing um, a Calvin and Hobbes hat, which I did end up finishing. Here it is. Um, I did sell a hat at the uh, booth, was the Jurassic Park hat, but... Um, this is one that I had stitched just before, so I still have that. It is available on my Etsy shop, which I will, I always have the link um, in the description for you guys if you want to check out. Um, all of the physical items that I have that I had at the booth will be listed on there. Um, let me see. What else did I do? Um, oh, I, so at the, the vendor booth, I had finished, because, um, I mean, it's so nice to, like, sit and have time to stitch. So actually I finished not one poop right here, not two poops. So those are two, two poop brown, little brown guys there. And, <laughs> and I also finished a sparkly, I don't know if, yeah, there we go. I'll pick it up. It's really bright in here because it's nighttime and this room gets really bright when I have to have the light on. So sparkly purple poop. So those are the poops. I just haven't framed them yet. Like I said, life's been crazy busy and I haven't had time to do everything that I would like to do. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and I did finish, let me see, I did a Fat Sonic, which I actually already sold. <laughs> so um, I'll have just the picture of that up here. Um, let me see, what else? Uh, 
Oh, so the Eagle, the big Eagle project, right, Roxanne? Uh, that sold. Uh, it didn't sell at the event, but it did sell to somebody who follows my, who's followed my Twitch channel for a very long time. Um, so the Eagle now lives in Texas, which is exciting. So we shipped that. Um, let me see. So yeah, the holidays were great for me and my family. We did a lot at home, especially because at one point my dad got COVID. Um, and I had been hanging out with him that night uh, for our pool. Our pool, um, uh, we play uh, APA. Uh, and my dad, who <laughs> he didn't have symptoms at the time we were playing, but then that night he wasn't feeling well. So um, I got to self-quarantine for two weeks, uh, which was nice. I got to work from home. Uh, you know, laundry over your lunch hour, wrapping Christmas presents type of thing between stuff. It was, it was very nice. Um, I am back to work though, um, but I, I enjoy my job. I work at a law firm and I have a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, it, it might be nerdy, but I, Roxanne, calm down, <laughs> calm down. But I do, I, I love my job and it's a lot of fun. While I wish the cross stitch could be, you know, my full-time job, it definitely isn't lucrative enough to you know support mostly my my I, I enjoy good food i enjoy t-shirts this is one of my new t-shirts from from um christmas there from schitt's creek david rose is my my idol <laughs> so uh yeah we we had a lot of fun a lot of you know just small intimate staying home type things we just stayed home for new years and all that good stuff Roxanne, quash um i've been trying to get into reading more so um i did read uh well dean coons is my favorite author so i did finish uh i started i've already read these but um i started back up again with uh, his frankenstein series which is great i highly recommend i'm on uh, I finished the first book, so I'm on the second book right now. I'm almost done with it, and then I'll start <laughs> the third book. Um, they're really great. Uh, let's see. So, oh, and I was um, uh, over the past couple months. I know there's so much stuff that happened. I'm just trying to remember it all. <laughs> um, I am going to be on an episode of my friend Jake Baker's podcast. It's called, Cl oh, Roxanne, you're knocking into everything. <laughs> Uh, it's called Clear Tinted Classics. Uh, he's uh, a film enthusiast who hasn't seen a lot of the classics. So right now he's uh, going through, he'll watch them. Some of the episodes are by himself. Some of the episodes, um, somebody is with him. Uh, in this case, uh, I chose A League of Their Own, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, so we did um, a, a podcast recording. I'm not sure when it's coming out, um, but you can check him out. Again, it's called Clear Tinted Classics. I'll put a link in the, the video thing and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so that, that'll be coming up, something to look forward to. Um, let me see, what else? Oh, so yeah, with the new year comes my weight loss has begun again. <laughs> um, I started dieting again. Um, that start, Roxanne, hush. <laughs> I put on a lot of I don't care weight and COVID weight, of course. Um, everyone calls it the pan pandemic pounds. So I definitely put some of those on. Um, so I'm going, and I'm, I'm doing a challenge of, for myself of trying to plank every day this year of seeing if I can hold it longer and longer than, you know, the, the day before. I think right now I'm up to about a minute and 34 seconds that I held it. Now, and I, I do literally like no exercise. I'll walk the dog. Um, I did some running for a while. I haven't ran in a while, mainly because when it gets cold, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's like what's mostly going on. Um, I did do a pattern design recently. I don't do a whole lot lately, but, um, I'll post just the picture of that up here since I haven't actually had time to stitch it yet. Um, it's, uh, a quote from The Office, uh, Kelly Kapoor. She says, uh, yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? <laughs> I think that's when Ryan is giving a presentation and he had just come back after he had been gone for a while. <laughs> and so, and I, I just love The Office. It's so great. So I had been meaning to make this pattern for a long time. So I finally did. It is listed on my Etsy. I haven't had a chance to stitch it yet, but I do plan on it. Um, so let's see. I think now I can kind of go into more of stuff I have been working on. Okay, so 
Um, I know last time I left you was in November, uh, and I had already showed you the Calvin and Hobbes hat. Um, just before my vendor booth, um, I did finish, um, let me see, I already mentioned Fats on it. I finished, oh, Mr. Hanky a Christmas Poop. I'll put, post a picture, or no, I think I actually have him. Well, let me grab him. Look at that, I do have him. I totally forgot that I had him and that, uh, oh, I think Rexon's upset. I just grabbed this from a box that has a bunch of paper in it and he, he gets very afraid of, of paper. Pro oh, Rexon, it's fine, it's fine. He gets afraid that the paper is alive because it crinkles and moves, so he's gonna be very upset for a minute. Um, but yeah, I finished uh, little Mr. Hanky here. He hasn't sold, but he is available on my Etsy. Again, I post that, that link. Let's see if I can get a, a closer up here. It's on Sparkly, uh, Ada Fabric, opalescent. Super cute, 28 count, so it's a very tiny, very small. And you can, you know, put a tabletop or hang him. Look at how cute. So I finished him. Let's see what else. Um, I did a Lilo and Stitch, uh, which I've done before, but uh, my mother-in-law asked me to do it for um, uh, someone in the family as a Christmas present. So that was one of those, oh crap, it's almost Christmas time, I need to finish this. Uh, Cause I tend to push things off, I'm a big procrastinator. But uh, I did finish that in time, super cute, love that one. I think that pattern might be on my Etsy, might not. I'm, I am going back and kind of re-listening things. So um, if you do want it, you can always reach out to me. But I am going to be listing more stuff soon than I had taken down. Uh, what else? Let's see. Um, oh, I did do a little magnet here for a friend. Now this one's really cool. Uh, this one again uses uh, my friend uh, Carrie Warning at 8-Bit Stitching. Uh, she does hand dyes, this really cool black. Uh, so she takes opalescent Ada cloth and uh, dyes it black. So it makes a really cool effect. Now this is a logo um, of a guy that we know. Uh, his name is Carl of C Dago Cues. So that's his logo. So it's in sparkly. It's not Krennic. This is tr uh what is this called? I think I have it right here. Yes, it is called Treasure Braid. Ah, I have so much stuff, my bad. It's called Treasure Braid. It's like Krennic, but it's a lot thinner. Super mega sparkly, highly recommend. Um, so I use that, it was very, very hard to see on this uh, tiny 28 count black uh, eight o'clock, but it turned out really good. I promised him this, uh, Gosh, probably like four months ago, maybe more, I forget, <laughs> but it was a long time coming. I still have to actually give it to him now, um, which I think Pup Tapes is planning on. My husband's giving it to him maybe tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get that to him soon. I promised it to him forever, but what are you going to do? Uh, which, speaking of pool, I did just before, you know, our pool league shut down again for the pandemic, I got my very first eight on the break. This is the coolest thing ever, and I actually almost got a second one right after, which would have been the coolest thing ever, and I would have just been like, I'm done, I'm done playing pool forever. But uh, I didn't, so we gotta try again. <laughs> Here's even my, I got a cool mask. This is my mask that I wear everywhere, which is my, my APA Strong mask representing my pool league. And it's super comfortable, like these lightweight like cloth masks that are like super gentle on the ears. I can wear this all day and I'm fine. Um, but anyway, let's see what else. We, like I said, this is gonna be a longer video just because I have so much to go through. Um, yes, so besides Mr. Hanky, we also uh, did a Letterkenny shirt. Uh, I had talked about that last time. Started it, finished it. Oh, oh right. I already got it to my friend. So um, here's the picture of it finished. Uh, which we've already, the new season of Letterkenny came out on Christmas Day, so we watched that in the day, because <laughs> it's so good. Um, but yeah, that's the shirt, I'm super proud of it. Uh, the pattern is available on my Etsy, uh, because it's just, it's such a cool, you know, it's the German Shepherd, the Pitter Patter, uh, 
which is a big phrase they use in uh, the Letterkenny show, Pitter Patter, Let's Get At Her. It's it's such a good show, highly recommend. Uh, I think I've recommended it multiple times. Um, oh, which also reminds me, I know I'm all over the place <laughs> in this video, but um, I did kind of uh, do a revamp of my website, motoruxin.com. Um, I have a recommends site. I think I maybe I changed it to what to watch. I don't remember. <laughs> but um, that's like kind of my blog posts on movies, TV shows uh, that I recommend. One of those is Letterkenny. Um, and I also posted a more recent one of my top 10 2020 movies. I know 2020 was kind of a year, but <laughs> I, uh, there were some good movies that came out at least. Uh, a lot of them, you know, not in theaters because we've all been stuck at home for the past, you know, 10 months-ish. I think the last movie I saw in theaters was New Mutants. It was terrible. <laughs> so I'm really bummed. I hope that theaters make a comeback once uh, the pandemic's over um, because I definitely don't want that to be the last movie I ever see in theaters. Um, let's see. Oh, so I guess, yeah, this one's kind of really cool. Uh, I did for the very first time. Here is a, it's not cross stitch. It's a model kit right here. Uh, where literally everything is like paper, wood, cardboard, like all that good stuff. And you have to build everything. And here is what I did. It's holding up very well. So it's good. So this is what it looks like. The glass actually, so it actually shows pretty well. I figured the glass was gonna be pretty reflective. It lights up like so. Look at that, isn't it crazy cool? So it lights up and it also has, ah, come on, a music box. Look at it, isn't that so cool? So yeah, I so see you got the ambient, full ambiance. I built this, like the couch was the hardest part of this to build. Literally had to take the fabric, cut it up, glue all that together. Like nothing came done. So it's a lot of work. I will say if you are going to try to do one of these, I would try to maybe do a small one to see if you like it. Cause it is a lot of work, <laughs> more work than I was thinking it would be. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It's just very tedious, a lot of cutting, a lot of gluing. So much gluing. But it turned out really cool. I'm really proud of that. So now I have a really cool Christmas decoration that I can get out like every year. So I'm really proud of that. I did that on stream. So if you do want to see, you know, I think I did the first day. Uh, I, I have that YouTube video uh, of the streaming of that because it was such a tedious task. I didn't do it at all. I actually, I think it took me 12 hours on a Saturday and then four hours on this next Sunday, the, the following day. So it was very time consuming. <laughs> um, let's see what else did I do. So I did that. Oh, I got a big finish that I'm super excited to show you guys. Look at this. Now, I don't think anything exemplifies 2020 more than this guy. I don't have him framed yet, but look at him. This is my Elmo on fire. This pattern is available on my Etsy. I know this black fabric shows every little white floof. Redonkulous, but look at that. Let's see if I get a close up of it. Look at him. So it's on 28 count black. Um, so I didn't do any of the black stitching. Um, I th it, it would be full coverage if you followed that, but I just stitched it on black, so I just didn't have to do the majority of the black stitching, but it turned out so good. During self-quarantine, when I was at home, I worked on him a lot. These last, you know, month or two, I have been just plugging away at him, and I just finished him on, let's see, so today is Tuesday. I finished him on Sunday on the drive home. Uh, it was such a long time coming, chipping away at him. A lot of, you know, pixel stitching of just stuff everywhere. A lot of different colors. I think it's like 80 colors or something. Um, but yeah, he turned out so good. I've been wanting to 
stitch him for so long. I ended up coming in third in my fantasy football league, so I told him, hey, that's okay. I don't need a trophy. This right here is going to be my trophy <laughs> because every time uh, my team did really good, I would post this uh, gif of, you know, the flaming Elmo that says, it's lit boys. <laughs> so uh, I finished him. Super excited about it. I uh, can't wait to frame him. He's going to look so good. Um, let's see. What else? Um, right, Rustin? I, <laughs> I think I've, I've been talking about uh, what all I'm going to do this year. I am planning on taking part in um, Stitch Mania again, which will be in the month of May, starting a new project every day. Um, I'm going to either do one of two things. I'm either going to focus on, which this is my list right here of all my subscribers uh, who I owe stuff to. The, the names that are have a square around them with a piece of, with a, a bacon sticker next to them are completely done, but most everybody else I owe stuff to. <laughs> so uh, I am going to spend the year trying to get caught up on this list. So that's going to be one of my uh, New Year's resolutions of getting back to thanking the people who support me uh, both financially and just through views like just watching these videos just uh, hanging out in my twitch stream like you don't have to donate anything just your time means so much to me so I am gonna get back on those subs you know if you do have a, a prime Amazon Prime membership you get a free uh, twitch uh, subscription that you can give to somebody uh, so you could use that on me if you want. Uh, so, uh, and if you do it for six months in a row, well, not in a row, but six months, uh, you get a magnet. Uh, a year, you get a poop. And at two years, you get a custom magnet or, you know, a magnet I've done before, something like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I also was thinking, because <laughs> I just bought... I just bought a bunch of designs by, um, you know, La Selva Design is one of my favorite designers. Uh, he just came out with a bunch of new animals um, these last couple months, so I finally did another another big buy because <laughs> they're just so good. Um, again, I'll post his link as well because he's fantastic. Um, oh, and I finally did. So my current work in progress, I can finally show you. This is... Now, right now, it just says, brings an adequate of. <laughs> so, I'll post the actual uh, pattern here. It is a pattern by Jim Jam Crafts. It's, you know, the play of my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. But my this one says it brings an adequate number of boys to the yard. It'll have milkshakes next to it. I've been wanting to stitch this since, let me see, I bought it in May. May of this year, well, 2020. It's now 2021, so... I'm way behind on actually, and I so yeah, I bought it during Stitch Mania when I wasn't supposed to be buying patterns, but I did anyway. <laughs> I think I bought like several. So uh, I'm finally working on this one. This one won't be too time consuming. I should be able to knock it out pretty quick. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. Really excited to be stitching that. Um, and actually, you know, I'm unbelievably excited just to be working finally on a floss tube video because like I said uh so this is our floss tube number eight I don't think I said it is our eighth floss tube not five eight there's the other hand um I've just every weekend I'm like oh I'm gonna do this I would either be too tired or something was going on and so finally I'm like you know New Year, I'm going to get back into this. Uh, now that I'm kind of done with big projects, big stuff, I'm going to try and focus on doing more videos, more streaming, which those streaming VODs also get posted to the YouTube, so you can check those out in that playlist. Um, uh, but yeah, so other than that, if you do want to watch uh, me cross-stitch live, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash modoruxin. I'm on all the social media as modoruxin. Um... The thing with COVID is I don't have anything big coming up, so uh, hopefully I'll get a lot of stuff cross-stitched in this new year. Uh, I'm going to actually make a valiant attempt to track all of my finishes of 2021, make me make, make like an actual list. Uh, we'll see. I'm already going to probably not do it because I forget. I think I pretty much just end up going back through my Instagram and go, okay, finish that, that, that. That'll be my list. Because, again, Flaming Elmo, he was my first finish. Super excited. 
Um, so what a great way to kick off the new year with a nice big finish that I've been working on for a little while. Uh, hope to have a lot more to show you guys next time. I'm going to try to make these more consistent. It won't be two months until the next time, I promise. Um, and I, you know, I do, I do promise to actually do it. <laughs> um, oh, I guess I can show you one more thing too. Uh, over the holidays, uh, I did spend an entire day making Christmas cookies, which here's a picture right there of my Christmas cookies. Because I was like, oh, I almost forgot to mention that. Because I'm like trying to think of all the things that I've done since the last uh, floss tube. And when it's been two months, I mean, it's a lot of things. I definitely haven't listed everything. But I feel like I've got through most of the stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We're going to just see what 2021 <laughs> has in store for us. Hopefully it's a lot better than 2020. Uh, I'm, again, still working towards being debt-free by, I always want to say 2023, but who knows, we'll see. <laughs> uh, my car is almost paid off, so I'm super excited about that. So I'm just hoping this year is a great one and we all stay healthy and stay safe out there and just do your thing do all all the stitching because it, that's the one safe thing that you can do inside and being a, a stay-at-home crafter is totally like the cool thing to do right now so keep stitching and so will i and i will be back next time with hopefully more finishes to show you guys so thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time goodbye